An American college student this morning faces 15 years of hard labor in a North Korean prison. The University of Virginia undergrad was sentenced overnight for allegedly trying to steal a propaganda banner. He was taken into custody in January while visiting Pyongyang. Seth Doan is monitoring developments from Tokyo. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Otto Warmbier was charged with subversion in a trial that lasted just an hour. The University of Virginia student was paraded through North Korea's highest court today, handcuffed and shuffling past photographers. Otto Frederick Warmbier was detained in January as he prepared to leave North Korea after visiting the reclusive country with a tour group. Today was the first we'd seen of the 21-year-old since his tear-filled apology broadcast on state media in late February. I entirely beg you and government of the DPR Korea for your forgiveness. Please, I have made the worst mistake of my life. In that bizarre <laughs> rambling and likely forced <laughs> confession, he claimed to have tried to steal a political banner from his Pyongyang hotel as a souvenir for a family friend. Warmbier is the latest American to be detained in the North. Kenneth Bay was sentenced to 15 years for attempting to overthrow the government, but was released in 2014 after serving less than two years. On the same day, another American, then 24-year-old Matthew Todd Miller, was also released. He'd been sentenced to six years for committing hostile acts, but served just two months. When we visited North Korea, we've been closely monitored and our bags have been carefully checked, going both in and out of the country. In that statement, Warmbier said that he took that poster from an employee's only floor at the hotel in Pyongyang. I've stayed in that same hotel and there are indeed floors that are off limits to visitors. CBS News reached out to his family, but we have not heard back. Gail? All right, yeah. that's really tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems like there's a lot more to this story. I was going to say, from what we see, though, it doesn't seem like the punishment fits the crime. But it, right, there has stealing. to be something else. In North Korea, that's right. there. Yeah. Thank you, Seth.